What's up, everyone? K Block here. Today, we are in the soccer stadium with a very special guest. It is Elite Sean. He is one of my favorite Twitch streamers. You need to check him out now. He is in the soccer stadium. Sean, how do you think you're going to do? I'm going to get him all right, 100%. Good prediction. I have to get the teams. We have to get the pot of balls so you don't need to get home. One second. I got it. Cool. I have to get some out of here, too. Oh, God. Oh, God. What's up? I'm Kevin. All right, he uh, he fell for it. I will ask you questions. This is the World Cup edition. You make it through the group stages, into the knockout rounds, and into the final. You will win a prize, some great apparel from the amazing people at a vicious strike. You ready to do this? I'm ready. Great. Hey, if you're new here, it is time for you to buckle up, hit the subscribe button, and go for a ride with us in the soccer sedan. <laughs> All right, so as it works in the soccer stand, we have to have Sean draw a team. There you go, Sean. Do the honors. As you can see, those are the teams that have been drawn. Those are the teams that have not been drawn. And let's see who Sean gets. I want this one. You want that one. All right, good choice. Okay. <laughs> it's going to take a minute. Hold on. I do not open it. Whoa, just open it, man. I got, it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, right. here we go. Don't be Chile, please. Don't be Chile. All right, I got USA. USA, the United States, the Stars and Stripes. Rep in my own country here. Rep in your own country. Who did not make the World Cup tragic? Well, uh, really? What, 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 <laughs> we're not going to talk about it here in the qualifying rounds of the soccer state, but it is time for your very first question. All right. I'm ready. So, as we all know, the USA uh, totally blew it. But one of the bright spots of the group stage was the 19-year-old Christian Pulisic, who had an amazing... World Cup qualifying campaign. He even has a trophy, man, in his trophy game. He's got, he won the DFB Pokal with his club team. What club does Christian Pulisic play for? Borussia Dortmund in the Bundesliga. That's my favorite team. You gave me an easy one. <laughs> Goal! Yes! Pulisic plays for Borussia Dortmund. Literally my favorite team, so you, you gave me an easy one to start it off with. I like it. Of course, of course. So Christian, when the elite comes to meet you and play in FIFA, right? You know, you know he's elite at this. You know? Right. Second question, we got to go, you know, up the bars here. Yeah. One of the reasons that the U.S. missed the World Cup was misfiring at a place where they normally win by a score of two to zero. That is against their opponents, Mexico. They are now four and one against their rivals in Concacaf. What is the home? The name of the stadium? Where? Dosa Cero happens. Okay, so it's in Columbus, and I went to what I went to see PSG versus Real Madrid last year in Columbus, and that was in Ohio Stadium. I'm not 100 percent sure if that's where Columbus plays, because I've actually never been to a Columbus Crew game. But I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say it's Ohio Stadium, the home of Dosa Cero. Ohio right. Stadium. Are you sure? I'm not sure, but I'm I'm not. I don't know any other names of stadiums in Columbus. <laughs> No. Uh, uh, it is the Mopfrey Stadium, home of the Columbus Crew. Hey, save us the blushes, you know, just tell everyone you're hashtagging it. Save the crew. Save the crew, but MLS to Cincy. Obviously, as we've talked about, this has been a really bad qualifying campaign for the United States. In fact, on November 13th, Friday, November 13th, the world was shook by the tragic Paris terror attacks. It even rattled the United States national team. It was their first qualifying game in the campaign. They conceded a goal in the first five minutes to what CONCACAF minnow that is just populated of over 100,000 people. Okay, so What was the was... team that was the first to play against the United States in this round of World Cup qualifying? Right, so this was, this was 2015. Uh, that was when the, the Paris attack was, November 13th. I remember the day very vividly because of, because of that. But I don't remember the team that they played on that day. But given the fact, you've narrowed it down to a minnow in the CONCACAF. So it's really, it's got to be, I'm, I'm fairly certain it was not Trinidad and Tobago. I'm fairly certain it wasn't them. So it's, it's really got to be. Not a hexagonal be, team. Not a hexagonal team. Right, it can be anybody in the CONCACAF. Right, so it could be, it could be El Salvador. It could be Jamaica. It could, it, and we struggle against Jamaica. San Marino? You think it's San Marino? Well, San Marino's off the coast of Italy, so definitely not them. Not them. <laughs> I, 
we struggle against Jamaica, and they're a pretty small populated country. They're a minnow of a team in the CONCACAF. I really can't think of anybody else it would be, because I wouldn't consider Panama a minnow. Uh, are the police coming for riding the soccer Oh, man. I thought we were getting pulled over. Hey, hey, <laughs> if we were, I was going to uh, ask him if he wanted to uh, draw a team and come for riding the soccer sedan. <laughs> I don't know if we are getting pulled over. We or might what? be getting pulled over. This okay. ain't no good. I have no... No, it's not us. It's not us. Oh, my heart was pumping. Oh my goodness, my heart was actually pumping there. I, I was we like, okay, I thought I'm we were gonna... getting pulled over. <laughs> I, I will, I've confirmed this. Is, this... this li, I've, this is the only road I've ever been pulled over on. This happened twice, so I thought it was gonna happen a third time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and answer Jamaica because we always struggle against Jamaica. Uh, they're the only minnow of a team that I can ever remember USA even getting scored on because I, I don't really consider Panama a minnow of a team. They're normally pretty decent at least. Uh, Costa Rica okay, is okay. Uh, You're Jamaican me crazy because you're not going to get this question right. There is a yellow card for you. Oh, you're not supposed to touch the yellow card. I mean, It's St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Oh, I never even thought about them. <laughs> Elite at FIFA 18, maybe not elite in the soccer stand. These are hard questions, okay? <laughs> All right, but hey, we are out of the group stage. You do have the 50-50 ball. We're in the knockout rounds. It's going to be complicated. A multiple choice now. Next question. One of the right spots in the United States has been the women's soccer team. Yeah! That's right, it has. And you know what? There is only one player in World Cup history to score a hat trick. It happened in 2015 when the United States played against Japan and won Carly Lloyd. by a score of 5-2. to two. Which player on the United States men's national team, and shut up, let me say the multiple choice answers, <laughs> scored Carly. a hat trick for the United States? Is it A, Pope Solo, no. B, Abby Wambach, no. C, Megan Rapino, or D, Carly Lloyd? Carly Lloyd. Carly Lloyd. Are you sure? I'm sure. Oh! <laughs> yes! And what's Carly Lloyd? I know my women's soccer, all right? I know. Now the real question. What pickup line would you use if you were about to pick up Carly Lloyd? You put me on the spot here. I don't really have any pickup lines to go to here. Well, you know what? I'll tell you what. If you get this next question right, she'll really go out with you. Okay. Time for question five. Oh, the U.S. won a World Cup final, and believe it or not, in 2009. The U.S. men's national team was in a final of its own in the FIFA Confederations Cup. They miraculously escaped the group stage and even snapped Spain's 35 unbeaten game streak on the road to the final in South Africa at the Confederations Cup. They had a heartbreaking loss by the score of 3-2 to what country? Was it A, Argentina, B, Brazil, C, South Africa, or D, Italy? All right, I know it's not South Africa. They didn't win the Confederations Cup. All right, I'm gonna use my 50-50 on this one. Gonna use the 50-50 ball? Yeah, I'm gonna use the 50-50. All right, so we are gonna take away Italy and Argentina, leaving you with Brazil or South Africa. All right, I think it's only logical. I don't, I, I didn't watch this game. I, I, I wasn't really into watching pro soccer, pro football until the World Cup 2010. So I didn't watch this game, I don't remember it but logically I have to go with Brazil. So I'm, that's my final answer. Not going with the home field advantage. Go! Yes, it was Brazil. That is the right answer. All right, so are we in the finals or the semifinals? No, question six is the semifinals. Okay, so we're in the semifinals now. In the semifinals. I'm winning this. I can feel it. Major League Soccer is the very first division of US soccer. The league now has 23 teams after it added Los Angeles Football Club most recently this year. Therefore, the schedule had to be fixed. How many games will each team play, excluding the playoffs, this year in Major League Soccer? Is it A, 32, B, 34, C, 37, or D, 39? Okay. So, if there's 22 teams, 23. There's 23 teams, right? Okay, so there's 23 now. Logically, they'd play each team twice, I would think. And that would make it 44 games. So that wasn't one of the choices. If that was one of the choices, I would guess that. Um, 
Oh, this is gonna be a guess. <laughs> this is gonna be a wild guess. It wouldn't make sense for them to play an odd number of games, I don't think. I'm gonna, it's gotta be 32 or 34. There's 23 teams. I still don't, I still don't understand the logic behind this. Oh wait, because they have, they have two divisions. Okay, they have two divisions, which means that they play each team in their division twice. And then do they play the other division once? Is that how it works? I don't know even how, I don't even know how the MLX works. This is embarrassing. Um, I'm gonna go, you know what? 34 final answer. Please. How many games have we played here in the World Cup? How many games have we played? Oh! Oh! <laughs> yes! Oh. The correct answer is 34! Oh, how did I get that? <laughs> I just randomly guessed. You know what, Anna? Major League Soccer, listen right now. Two things. One, save the crew. And second thing, go to a table. Thank you very much. So we don't have to ask silly questions like this in Major League Soccer. Hashtag MLS to Cincy. All right, so here we are. We're pulling in. Uh, we're getting something to eat. And uh, <laughs> if you get this question wrong, you're probably going to be sad. If not, then uh, you get the free ride in the soccer sedan. And I guess I'll pay for this. Okay. All right, so last question. No more substitution. Let's get to the final question. I ever remembers in the 2010 World Cup, the U.S. having a tough time in the group stages. And then in the third game, they played against Algeria. Everyone, of course, remembers Landon Donovan's stoppage time winner oh, when he good. buried home the rebound off of what player? Was it I A, know, I know Josie it. Altador? I know it. B, I know it. Clint Dempsey. C, Jay Demerit. Or D, Michael Bradley. All right, so... I know it, everything about this. Uh, I watched it live. One of the craziest moments in U.S. history. The entire play started with Tim Howard. He sends the ball up to Landon Donovan. Landon Donovan sends it wide to Josie Altador. Josie Altador crosses it in to Clint Dempsey, who takes the shot, deflects off of the goalkeeper and himself pretty much at the same time. And Landon Donovan is there to clean up, and he runs to the left corner flag. So the correct answer is... If it's not the goalkeeper for Algeria, which wasn't one of the, wasn't one of the choices, it's obviously Clint Dempsey. Final answer. Go! Go! Stop! 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 People are going. Go! Yes! <laughs> Just don't. We have a go. winner in the Soccer Shane World Cup edition. How does it feel? Man? It feels amazing. It's amazing. Representing the U.S., taking us to the final of the World Cup. Coming in clutch just like Landon Donovan did against Al Algeria. Well done, sir. We are going to hook you up with some great apparel. Thanks to the great people at Ambitious Truck. I want you to go follow them on Twitter, Instagram, whenever you get a second, because they always give away free hot apparel like this. All right. Thank you so much for having me, man. I appreciate Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Is there anyone you would like to challenge to a ride in the Soccer Sedan World Cup Edition? Uh, actually, uh, I challenge Mike Liu. He lives in Michigan. Maybe he'll be able to uh, come down to Cleveland and then take a ride in the Soccer Sedan. I Mike Liu, Mike uh, we're coming for you, I guess. For food. Okay, cool. Now we're going to go get food. But first, we got this for you, K-Block Party. Everyone, stop what you're doing with me. It's time for you to become a massive kid. The soccer stand for all the World Cup edition. Sean got a prize. Thanks to our great people at Ambitious Strike. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We are going to take a break from the World Cup qualifying round of the soccer stand. Here is what you need to do. I want everyone to post their top five favorite teams that they want to see put into the pot for the soccer stand. We are going to draw one of those top five teams. And then when the next episode happens, we're going to do the same thing. So that way we get all the teams that you want to see drawn in the soccer sedan. Be sure to share this video, like the video, let me know in the comments. Teams you want to be seen drawn and how many questions you got right. My name is Kevin Block. You can call me K-Block. Don't call me K-13 Lock because the one and three make a beat. And most importantly, keep the ball rolling on this football. We come under. See ya!